Hello everyone, this is Hello Iedereen Moto 5 and it's been a while since I've done a C Sharp tutorial. But uh, it seems that you guys love my uh, console application tutorial. So I'm gonna do another one of those. Um, since it helped so much, um, I'm gonna do another example. Um, like, if you ever need to open an application or whatever. Well, that's not very handy since you have to type in the. Uh, I'll, I'll figure something out. So. Uh, let me just uh, name the application here. So we'll create the application. There, an empty application. So I'm going to start on um, making a simple console calculator. Um, it's, it's actually not that hard. If you have seen my other calculator tutorial, I believe I had a calculator tutorial up. And otherwise, I have to make one. Um, it's basically the same as with graphical, but the console applications are basically um, the Windows form applications, only then without uh, the graphical user interface. So the basically in the number one in 32 the first number that the user types will be added in there and because you do something plus something um, we only need two integers so and we need one string and I'll call that choice if I write it correctly yeah so but now we will start on with the user interface or at least as much as this thing offers now I will write something like welcome to my calculator or something like that and if you and in case you didn't know um, the console is basically the window that it's going to be displayed on and then you're going to give the console the command to write a line and that line will be welcome to my calculator and the uh, quotation marks are basically the strings um, let's just say that it gives the console the information that, it's, that everything between those things is a string so now We'll do a console that write, which is different than a write line because a write line writes something and adds a line to it, but write does not add that extra line. So that's perfect. Um, place enter the starting number, something like that. Should work. So right now this console just does the. Well, let's just put read key in there so we can see it. Yeah, read key. There. That is all it does. It waits for a key right now so, that, so you can see it and it doesn't close. I will show you what it does without the read key though. There, without the read key it just shows up and kind of poofs out real quick. We don't want that. So I usually put a read key at the end. So, um... Basically, we'll give the command that the string number one. If it's is it yeah, it sees it as the int, and I said string, so no, I I meant the int, the integer number one. Will equal and since everything user inputs is a string, even though if he fills in the number, you cannot put it into a uh, integer because an integer is different than a string. So as you can see. All we have to do is convert the user input to int32 and it can be put into an int32. That's basically it. So, and what will he put into that int32? He will put the console a read line. Basically, what the user and inserts and then it gives out an end with with the enter. Uh, let's see, now it requires a non static field. Whoops, that's my bad. I think that it can be fixed like this. 
Yeah, I did it. Um, yeah, it needs to be in the static void apparently. So that basically catches the first number. Um, and I will put in the the second number. Uh, so basically, because we want to make it as easy as possible for the user. We are going to put another console right and we're gonna say please enter the second number. Again, just a simple console write that writes this on the screen and does not put an enter at the end. So I'm gonna put a number two. You do the same thing as you did with the first number because it's the same situation oops that must be console dot read line again read line user input and it receives it when he presses the enter so yeah that is all about the number catching so right now you will see what the string is for because you might have thought like, why put a string in the calculator? Well, this is why. Uh, what do you want to do with these numbers? So he can either put in the plus symbol, a multiplier symbol, divide symbol, or minus symbol. By the way, this is not an. That is one. There, something like that. And now we do not have to convert because this is already a string, and I, everything a user puts in is a string. So every stroke from your keyboard is a string. Or a character, uh, but multiple characters make up a string. So nothing. I'll get into that in a later tutorial or something like that. Um, so the choice is console read line. Again, he just puts in the character. So right now, this is the graphical, well, graphical as graphical as the uh, console application gets, but at least. We right now get all the information and you know made it as easy as possible for the user to to put something in so uh, what I will do now is I will start the calculation part now what I usually do with this I get an if uh, multiple ifs going oops there if it equals plus it would do stuff between those brackets and if um, multiply um, I always put a semicolon behind those, I don't know why um, minus sign there again, seriously if You basically do this for every single character that's possible. Again. Okay, I have a problem. Now, as you can see, all these ifs, basically because he has to do a different calculation with every uh, thing. Like, uh, if you do a plus, he needs to do a... Um, you know, he needs to add these numbers up. So, that's a different calculation than with the multiply. Uh, you'll get what I mean in a second if you didn't get it. Um, so basically all this is... Uh, actually I forgot it. Int. Sorry about that. The final number. Um, oops. That's not what I wanted. Final equals number one. Plus number two. And that's basically all. And you can just... Copy this, paste it here, and replace these. Oh, 
with their corresponding character. Yeah. And that's basically the calculation part, and then we're gonna start into the uh, ending part of this uh, program, which is displaying the end result to the user. So basically, right line. A, a right line because um, you know you display a line and then I first want to display a line and then I want to display the answer. So everything. And oh wait, uh, no, let's put in the and then what? Well, I don't know if I spell that right, but that. Well, what that's what this will display is the and then a plus. A multiply sign, a minus, or a divider sign will be displayed here, and then was applied. And then console dot write because we don't want a line at the end of it. The oops, the ending result is. And now what you want to do is final. Now there are multiple ways of doing this, you know, showing variables at the end. Um, and since this is not working because it doesn't have a string at the end, um, I think our best shot is this. Uh, use of unassigned local variable. I think that you will find that it's signed up there. Nope. He can't find it. I don't know why. Because you can sure find it. Oh wait, I think I know why. Sometimes um, you have to give these a starting value in order for it to work. There. If you get use of unassigned local variable, just equal zero, and you'll get something in there. Especially when you want to display something. So what I'll, I'll explain this for you. Um, you will write this. The ending result is, and then this little piece here between the brackets equals the ID zero, and the IDs can be pulled from whatever you put behind the com. I can put as much of these as I want. See, I can put in another int or string there, and then I can access those by doing that. And since this is programming, programming starts from zero instead of from one. So that is something you have to remember that programming always ca counts from zero and not from one. So basically, the ending result is, and then the brackets say display the oops the the int or string at id zero and then a the closing bracket so that you can put like that behind it that's where the closing bracket is for and the opening bracket says that it has to be there and then the comma which and then you're gonna go into id zero final and then you can close it off now, if you might see that yeah, it works as far as I can see, but it will close immediately after the result is displayed. To pro prohibit that, we have to. Oops, not read line. Key. Well, and what also would be nice to do when you put in a read key. Just need better. like to know. Let the user know that if he if he presses any key, that it will close. Something like that. 
So I want to do two, oops, two, and then the second number will be two, and then the uh, the multiplier was applied. The ending result is four. You're welcome. Press any key to continue. Now you're gonna see that because I used the right, he didn't put a new line. It put it didn't put the press any key to close in a new line. Now you can do this without putting in the right line. This is just to show you that if I put in a slash a backslash and an n, a backslash usually near your enter. So a backslash n, you will see it as a new line. So. Now, what I did here was a little bit stupid. I should have switched these like that so that you can do 1 times 41, whatever. 41. You're welcome. Press any key to close. There, and that's how you can do that. So I'm going to do uh, more tutorials, I'm going to try to put them out at least once or twice a month or something. So stay subscribed, if you subscribe you will see a new tutorial every once or twice a month in your subscription box. Um, so yeah, here you go. This is another uh, console tutorial for a beginner who wants to create a simple calculation program in a console application. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you learned from it. That's the most important part. And uh, if you want more or if you ha ever need any help with any C Sharp programming, just put it in the comments and I will surely contact you. So I wish you a great day and uh, thanks for watching.